welcome to today's assembly. Our parable today, our story from Jesus, is all about forgiveness. We all know what it's like, don't we, to be upset or annoyed. We all know what it feels like when our friends or somebody we know has upset us or been a bit mean or said something nasty. It makes us sad or angry. And sometimes we want to go off in a sulk or we want to just run away. We don't want to be friends with that person anymore. But we know that we do need to forgive them, don't we? Some situations are easier to forgive than others. I wonder what you would do in these situations. And now for today's quiz. For today's quiz, you're going to see some pictures of scenes where you might need to forgive. Have a look and decide what you would do in each of these. Someone hit you in the playground. What would you do? Hit them back. Tell a teacher or other adult. Ignore it, but feel upset. And could you forgive? You have an argument with your good friend. What would you do? Go off and sulk. Say sorry and make friends again. Or go and complain to your mum. And could you forgive? Your mum is still asleep and you want some money to go to the shops, so you decide to take some out of her purse. What should your mum do? And what should you do? When your mum finds money missing, you blame your sister. Say you don't know what has happened. Feel guilty, own up and say you're sorry. And could your mum forgive? You're playing football too near the house and the ball breaks the window. What would you do? Go in and apologise straight away. Run off quickly and pretend you were nowhere near. Blame your friend that you were playing with. And could your dad forgive? It isn't always easy to forgive, is it? Some people are just not sorry and we don't want to forgive them. But really, we know it's the best thing to do. Jesus told this story about forgiveness to help his friends. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the unforgiving servant. This is Jesus, hey who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water oh, hey guys. and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! 
One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, No, not seven times, but seventy times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, The kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold, along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him, and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please! His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No! But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, that's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. So what do you think this might mean? why the first servant found it so hard to forgive. After all, he had been forgiven so much, hadn't he? Why couldn't he forgive just a small amount? The Bible tells us that God is always willing to forgive us and help us to have a new start. It doesn't matter how bad the thing is that we've done or how many times we make mistakes. God will forgive us if we're truly sorry and we want to make things right. So because God is willing to forgive us, we should be willing to forgive other people too, however difficult that sometimes might be. Let's say a prayer asking God to help us to be forgiving people. Dear God, we do thank you that you forgive us time and time again when we make mistakes. If we are sorry, and we ask you to do that. Please help us to be people who are willing to forgive others. Perhaps they've hurt us or annoyed us. Help us to be those who want to make the first move, who want to be forgiving people and to make peace and a new relationship with those people. And we ask you to help us to do that. Amen.